Hello, gonna show you a simple animation today based on one of these uh, Kubla things that I was doing. Uh, I finally got the project up on Behance if you wanna go and check it out. I had it on my project for about 30 years but I'm, I'm updating my Behance now. So um, it's based on this, rendered with Arnold. Um, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do the bounce animation, um, how to get it looking sort of natural and how to automate it so we'll keep going downstairs forever. You know, you can create a nice little loop for uh, Instagram or uh, Bebo or whatever you're on. First off, we're going to need a cube, so just going to get one from your primitives menu. We're just going to leave it on the default, and then we're going to bring it up to ground level by bringing it up by half its size, so 100 in this case. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and create another cube, which is going to be the cube that's going to get bounced on. So I'm just going to call these bounce, or no, wait, I'll call it like step, and then bouncing cube. So this one is going to be a bit bigger, so we're going to make it 300 and then bring it down by uh, 150 and then let's put this into a cloner so we can turn these into steps so just keep it on linear and do minus 300 minus 300 or however big your, your object is and then I'll create some steps and now let's get into the animation of this so it's only going to be certain values that we're going to need to keyframe so in my case we'll need to move on X we're going to need to move it on Y, and we're going to need to move it on uh, Z uh, rotation. So let's just keyframe all of these on the first frame. And then my animation is going to be 35 frames in length. Don't worry about this. If you need it to be bigger, like longer, or whatever, just, you know, change it later on. So um, we're going to move this um, across on X by 200, I think. No, it's going to be more than that. 300? And now that we're in the top view, you can see that we're right across the second cube. So let's just keyframe that and bring it down to minus 200. And that'll put it on the bottom step, as you can see here, or the second step. And then we're going to do minus 90 on the uh, rotation. You can do more than that if you want it to look a little more interesting. But uh, right now it's going to be looking like some surreal entertainment, or whatever that channel is called. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. No, I'm playing. Um, so we're going to create the the mid the midpoint keyframe, which is going to be up higher on Y. So if we go 15 frames in and bring this up to maybe like 260 keyframe it. Um, then we're going to get something you know that more resembles what we're going for. But um, what we need to still do is mess around with the, the curves. That's probably the most important part. And if you don't use curves. You need to, man. It's important for every every aspect of animation, uh, and it's pretty much universal. Like you'll get it in pretty much any three D package, any compositing package. So it's just useful to know uh, what doing what looks like. You know what changing this does. So we're gonna basically go to X and uh, rotation on Z, and we're gonna select all of these and make it linear. <coughs> And basically this is going to mean that there's, it's going to have no time on the ground here. It's just going to bounce instantly up afterwards. It's still looking janky because of the way it comes up on Y. But in terms of, of how it rotates and stuff, that's fine. So if we go back and then select uh, uh, position, we're going to remove the first and the last E's by just control dragging uh, those back to its original point. And then here we also control drag out and then just make it, you know, quite wide like that. Um, so basically what it's going to do is it's going to, is this going to kind of emphasize at the top and then it's going to basically accelerate down. So essentially what gravity is, it's acceleration. So it's just going to increase, increase until it reaches its maximum speed and then hits the ground and then we go again. So if I watch that, there we go, it's got some kind of nice air time and also since we've we've kept it in the air for a little longer it's not going to graze it's just going to kind of elegantly pass that step there which is what we're going for and now um, what most people would do um, when they start doing animation is they'll just copy all these down like this and it's just a massive pain because you've got to kind of work out uh, how far down it needs to be and all that stuff but Luckily, uh, most programs allow you to do um, repetition um, or offset repeat, which is what um, 
they call it in cinema. So if you go to track after, make sure everything's selected and go to track after in function and then do offset repeat after. And then this is just going to repeat over and over and over again, or however many times you want it to repeat. So if we play it now, it's going to go and land on the bottom step like that. It stops here for some reason, but when we when we create um, more repetitions of it, it'll keep going down. So um, if you go into the dope sheet and then select all this, this is where we can change the, the length of it, by the way. So if you want to make it shorter, longer, whatever, um, you can just select all of these and then drag it. Uh, down here, we have the repetitions. So you can put this as many as you want. It's not going to slow down your, your viewport in any noticeable way. So um, I just like to put it on as many as possible because, you know, if you need to change the length of something, then obviously it's going to, you're going to want it to keep going down and you're not going to have to worry about adding more steps and stuff like that later on. So yeah, it's just going to keep going down and you'll see if we just increase the amount of steps here, it's just doing the exact same animation. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions um, or if you want to learn any more about animation, and kind of how I did some of the stuff in that project, go check it out and then just drop a comment below and I'll, I'll see about making a tutorial on it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.